Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So I want to apologize for any background sounds. I do apologize for the reading being late as well. I am trying to do this on the weekend once again, like on a Sunday, but that's not always possible. So sometimes I will upload this on a Monday evening. Yeah, I hope you're all doing well. By now, all of you would have received your um, your audio file that you've, uh, for the, those of you who've won the giveaway, if you haven't yet uh, received that, then please uh, let me know, get back to me and I will resend that email to you. This is your weekly Oracle guidance. We have three options here, one, two, and three. So go ahead, make your selection, and we, I'm going to begin the reading with the option number one. So we have the card called Truth, and the caption is Higher Self. So this card speaks about coming into being with oneself and understanding what's one's truth through one's higher self. So not um, understanding truth by what you think it is or what it should be by what others think it is or by what society tells you it should be but by aligning yourself with your higher self or speaking allowing your higher self to speak through you and feeling that truth through there and the only way that you can do that is when you allow the light that burns within you to actually shine through and not when you are part of group, not when you are obeying rules of society, not to say that this is a message um, suggesting that you should not obey rules of society, but when you are part of a group, you are giving up part of yourself to align yourself with those values and those rules. And this card is talking about stepping aside for a while and understanding what that truth is for yourself so that you can actually give yourself what it is that you need and not be just giving yourself what it is that you need as part of a group. So it's about coming to that truth within yourself that your higher self knows is the truth. And it's talking about your soul that's being that is a part of all the other souls in this world and that your soul and your spirit, it knows the truth, the truth that is. And it's about being able to access some of that information. So some of us do this through our means of our intuition and others may do this through um, other forms of connecting like gardening, working in the soil or working with water in some way or sailing, surfing, um, or doing something with perhaps uh, pottery, working with, with mud, clay, or something like this. Uh, it could be many ways in which you can experience this truth. And th this card is talking about trying to access your truth once again, doing whatever it takes to be able to access your truth. Now, I'm also hearing here that this message has something to do with full moon that is that you're currently experiencing. So if you are watching this around the time of the full moon, uh, this message is definitely for you. If you're watching this a few months later or a few years later and the, you're not, it's not around the full moon, then I would say that the next full moon that's coming up for you is relevant for you in terms of meditation and accessing this higher self and this truth. It's talking about stepping aside once again from the group. So maybe if you were spending a lot of time with people or spending a lot of time in a community, or spending time just, you know, as part of an organization, it's time to take a break from that or just step out of it for a while so that you can hear your own truth in your higher self here. Because there is a message that's there for you and it's a great message. And it's a message that is a message of, of truth. It is a fact. It is truth. It is it cannot be denied. It's not what you think or what you feel or, you know, it's not a matter of opinion. It's something that is really true. And this is a message that you need to hear or see and understand, feel, and you need to resonate with. And once you resonate with that message, then you have understood it. And this is something that's important for you to do right now. And it feels to me like the time that you're listening to this is an important time for you to be able to access that information. So I would say work with that as much as you can. I also want to say that uh, this color here or this vibration and this here may actually be a color that potentially be important for you right now and um, I apologize if you can hear the, my neighbor playing the saxophone in the background um, I really couldn't do this reading at another time 
uh, this week and so I do apologize uh, profusely for the sounds in the background that may upset or annoy you. Um, the card here is also number 21 and interestingly enough um, that number rounds up to three in uh, numerology but I feel like 21 here is the end of a cycle and an end of something for you. So it's like it's the end of something that is been going on for for maybe two or three years and it's time to to bring that to closure or to fruition and I I feel that there's something else here it's like this truth that you need to see and you need to feel and you might have felt that in the last days with certain irritations or frustrations or something that's been nudging at you been nagging at you even and uh, that's been an irritation that's what it feels like and this is something that's telling you that something else that you need to know so where is it that you need to make some changes with regard to that particular situation where is it that you're saying yes when you should be saying no where is it that um you are not choosing the people that surround you in the way that benefits you because you know you need to be able to feel connected to your soul tribe or your your people and if you are engaging with people who are not um, giving you that or not playing that role in your life then you are potentially losing something along the way or not gaining something along the way and so this card is talking about that as well it's talking about just you know really um, understanding your truth and your higher self and listening to that voice and listening to what it has to say because there is something to be heard and there's some changes to be made maybe small changes it may be things that will naturally come to an end that you maybe you don't need to change something but perhaps in the future you may need to make some different decisions with regard to certain things so it doesn't mean that you gotta go right now and end uh, relationships or end certain projects or in something or because there's this feeling of the ending of the cycle it could just mean that the next time you are confronted with this that you respond differently to it or you respond in a manner that is grown more grown up in a way or more mature is what I actually want to say because now you have listened to this voice and you have this truth that you actually need to have in your life so I hope that message has been useful and I hope that um that you can actually benefit from this and that um, yeah that it resonates with you and I wish you a fabulous week ahead and many many blessings to you I'm moving on now to the second option so for those of you who've chosen this here oh there's a card that's pulled come out already I actually want to go with this I feel that it's important for you I will just uh shuffle these cards again and there's another card that's fallen off here so I'm just going to put this aside as well okay um so both cards are teachers one is a master teacher and one is a divine teacher okay and we're talking about there's a card you call compromise and there's a call, card called suffering so this feels like it feels like in order to to cope right now or to be right now to in order to simply be right now you need to compromise you need to find a, a middle ground a pathway in which you can do this because it might be that there's like two or three of you involved in a particular project and you're not really happy with it but um the the message here is not to walk away or not to give this up but actually to compromise it might be that you are sharing a space there are three people sharing a space or four people sharing a space and it's once again to find the middle ground find what works for everyone and it doesn't mean that you need to agree with everything let's agree to disagree and this card is is very much that energy let's agree to disagree so you don't need to always be agreeing with somebody or giving up yourself or, or giving up your opinion it's okay to just say okay that's your opinion and um, this is mine and let's agree to disagree and the other meaning i'm getting here is that uh, this might be a situation which is teaching you something but it's not your ultimate goal and it's not your ultimate lesson and you don't need to think that this is the end of the road this is not where you've arrived this is just a, a passing just a passing thing it's like you 
walking along and there's a stream that you have to cross and it's a passing water that you have to cross and you just cross it and you're on your way again and so it's no it's not necessarily something that you need to be, get bogged down with or you need to spend a lot of energy with it's something where you just need to compromise because you're being part of this person or part of the space or part of this world right now that is not something that is yours and uh it's it's something that you just need to give in and, and compromise it's okay to do that and it's, it's not something that's defining for you you know it's a past something that's passing so that is one of the messages that i'm getting here the other message i'm getting here is that you know there is a wisdom and there's a truth in all of this and um, there may be many lessons to be learned but it's okay as well if you are not able to get these lessons or you're not able to learn them right now they will surface again these messages will come up again and you can learn it at a different point so don't be too hard on yourself and don't force yourself to learn it or to be perfect uh, or to get it all or to just be on top of things all the time because it can be quite tiring to always be at the top and always being forcing yourself to learn things and to do things the proper way sometimes it's also okay to compromise with yourself with the master teacher in you and say that it's okay not to be perfect it's okay that I don't have this all at once it's okay and I could just cross this now and it will come to me at a later point and I will have an opportunity to do this once again maybe not with the same group of people or the same person or the same environment but I will have this lesson uh, be taught to me again and I will get it then if I'm not able to get it now so that is quite a peculiar message and quite a specific one once again and I feel that uh, that as pro does probably resonate with some of you and there's another part to it here um, but do let me know I'm always curious to see if these things do resonate um, yeah let me know um, there's a card here where you know the suffering that you are experiencing or that you're feeling is not something that is uh, necessarily yours to bear it's not something that is necessarily um, not necessarily needs to come to you in the form of a suffering you know there is these teachings and these lessons and these this wisdom that needs to come to you and that is part of your lifetime but it's you don't have to learn this through suffering and you don't have to to suffer through it it's not necessary and i know that for some of you what i'm going to say now is going to annoy you or frustrate you but you can actually just let go of this it's like a cloak of suffering that you're wearing and you can actually let go of this and you might not believe me right now you might not understand it uh, but it is something that you need to keep in mind and you need to try and practice or, or, or try to to do at some at a later stage because uh living a life uh which you think is one of which has been you know a fated life which is is yours and it's going to be like this and you are going to struggle with these things is not really the picture here it's not really what um it is supposed to be what is supposed to be here is that there is some some wisdom that's coming to you to you and you it's coming to you in a way that it can be quite harsh or quite hard to deal with and to bear and then once you have this wisdom it's yours and you can move on and you don't need to stay in a state of suffering that is very much yesterday and this feeling that i'm getting right now is is linking to the energy at the moment and the energy for the last weeks and it's talking about how you can actually let go of things from the past and leave it in the past and you don't need to be suffering you don't need things that happened in the past to influence your tomorrow or your today you can actually say goodbye to it and leave that in the past and the suffering doesn't need to be yours it's not poured upon you it's it's not made to be yours it's not you don't need to feel oppressed in the situation you need to rise within yourself and understand your core it's like you need to understand that acorn inside of you that has the potential to grow into the strong oak tree and you need to understand that this is this the life that you have in you has hasn't even begun to flourish and and to and to breathe and to 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 feel what it is that you really need to be feeling right now so this is such a strong message because i feel that you're there's this opportunity that you have to be this amazing amazing life and and to feel that and to feel a very different reality than what you're feeling right now but you haven't understood that suffering is not a part of it and once you've understood that then you can actually let go of that okay and you can release that and um if compromise means suffering for you then it isn't a compromise anymore because then you're not then you're giving up yourself completely and you're not keeping anything in that situation for yourself 
um, you can't live by the bidding of others. You need to live by your own bidding and your own rules and what serves you. And this is also a message that's coming up here that's really important for you as well right now. So that is um, your message for the week for those of you who've chosen this uh, here. I hope that's been useful. It feels like I could continue, but um, I think then the messages are going to be very, very specific here. And uh, I think I think there's one thing I want to say. You know, you have uh, a contract with the gods and with the spirit world. It's not something that is fated, but it's something that is more like a support. You have you are supported. And you are being watched over and you are okay and you don't need to feel oppressed by that and you don't need to feel uh and the oppression that you're experiencing is not coming from that either if you are experiencing oppression and you can let go of that suffering you don't need it any longer it's no longer a part of your life it isn't a part of your life it never really was um because this is just you know passing it's like these lessons have been learned already and it's time to actually let go of that right now and to embody that power that you have you know it's like you've let go of your power as well but you need to breathe it in and rise rise okay and you have the support that's there for that okay so i hope that message has been helpful and i wish you a fabulous week ahead i hope that you find what you're looking for as you go along and now for those who've chosen this last option here We're asking, what is your guidance for the week ahead? What is your guidance in this time ahead? We have purpose, okay? And then we have the master teacher already. Again, uh, so this is a very nice card. I feel like it's got a very different energy from the from the others that we've had until now. So here I have the relaxed energy, the wise master, the master like a wizard. He is almost, he's very relaxed and very happy and blissful as he goes along. And he gains his, his, in, his wisdom and his intuition um, is almost zen-like. And there's this this idea here that your purpose is going to bring you the greatest joy and relaxation and uh, almost bring you into a zen-like state. It's going to bring you a lot of, of happiness if you are able to, to feel that. Now, as some of you who are water signs, if you have a water sign, which is uh, in your moon or in your rising sign or, or your, your sun sign, you might find that this is harder for you. In fact, if you have a fire sign or a, if you're an earth sign, you might find that this is easier for you. It's easier for you to translate work uh, and uh, activity into that which is your purpose and that which fulfills you. And so this is something that if you are a water sign or if you do have, even if you're not a water sign, but you struggle uh, to feel this, just know that it is also possible for you and it's not something that you need to give up on it's not something that you can say okay well it's not only it's not for me you know i've tried and it's just not my personality or i'm i'm just too intense and i just can't get it that way or i find it really hard to do this and i don't want to do it and uh, because here uh the message that's coming through is that your attitude is half the way in fact, your, your attitude is like more than 80% of the energy and then the 20% of it is not it, the work itself or the activity itself or that thing that is that is needed to be done so that you are in alignment with your purpose is actually not something that's going to take a lot of your energy. Just getting started on this and just doing it and just getting on with it is going to be much harder. So once you get into it, the energy or the momentum that you've built as you move along is actually going to take you and it's going to bring you into this place of bliss. And so if you can ad address it or um, whatever it is that's challenging for you right now, if you can address it with a different attitude, with a more joyful attitude, with a lighter, um, with a lighter approach, you're going to find that you 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 will find your path you know and you will be okay your path path will almost be lit up for you as you go along it'll be shown to you it'll be revealed to you the other message i'm getting here is that 
you know, your path is not what others think it may be or what it's not the same as everyone else's. It's quite different, actually, in your case. And it is okay to walk this path, which is very different from everyone else's, even if they do not agree with you or even if it, um, you know, you 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 get some surprised glances coming your way or you feel quite uncomfortable in it at first it's okay to actually walk this path or to embark upon this path because it's important for your purpose and the last and and but very obvious message that is here i feel it's very obvious because i feel that this is all i talk about in my work um is that of purpose and that you know your purpose is the most important thing in your life if you have your your purpose figured out or what it is that you need to do here um or even if you don't have it figured out if but if you're doing things that make you feel as if you have a purpose or give you a sense of being um, useful in some way or that you know you are needed in this world in some way then that is actually going to give you a degree of fulfillment that you're not able to necessarily gain in this world and so understanding this purpose or understanding that you have a purpose even if you don't know what it is is an extraordinarily important part of your life and this is what's going to give you joy and this is what's going to help you relieve your ailments and overcome anxiety and get beyond depression and get beyond any sadness that you're experiencing because you're doing something with a purpose you have a you have refined your attitude you've calculated your attitude you're moving forth you're doing something you act you you're participating you need to participate in life in order to feel fulfilled and in order to feel like you have a purpose here and that you are giving of yourself or you are able to share uh, of yourself and and this is going to give you such a degree of bliss you know this is the only card that i the energy that i feel here is such calm and bliss and knowing and and there's no stress at all here and so this this message is, is about trying to to actually get to that point where you are doing okay and you, you know, whatever it is, maybe you haven't figured out your purpose, maybe you're just doing whatever you need to do in order to survive. But if you do it with purpose and you do it with 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 um with one hundred percent of your energy behind it, you're going to find that you you will be doing better and you will feel needed and you will feel the 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 reason that you're here it'll come to you and your path is being revealed so trust what comes up and in your path right now and go for it give it a chance if you've been given an offer and it's something that you find quite peculiar it's on the other side of the world and you're not really keen on doing this then then you know consider it at least consider it i'm being told even if you don't take it at least consider it because even when you're considering it you're practicing being open to it and that is an important part of this process as well so it feels like once again uh, for this card as it did for the previous one that they might they may be other messages here that need to be heard but I feel that they're very individual messages and uh, I would suggest that you close your eyes and you feel what it is that you need to feel and allow that to guide you because this message is one that has been guided for you and it is as if you are being held that you have um somebody or something or some entity some spirit that is guiding you or there for you or watching over you at this point and um you know when i read with these cards i often feel that that is the case and so i think that um it can be that you know this is card that says that that wants you to know that you are being watched over just you know that that itself is an important message uh that you are being watched over you they do have your back and uh it's okay and you're not doing anything that's wrong and it's okay to do what you're doing right now it's fine to do what you're doing right now and to to go along and i think i mentioned this in one of the other cards as well it's don't be so harsh on yourself you know don't be so hard on yourself it's it's okay to do what you're doing right now and uh, sometimes you can't do better than that so it's absolutely fine just to do what you're doing and to go with that and as i said the path will be revealed before you i think the most important message for this card here is that you know go within with it into it with a with a good attitude prepare yourself give yourself a pep talk if you need to and go into it with a better attitude because that's going to change everything and it's going to make it much lighter for you as you go along 
So I hope that has been a useful message for you and I hope that's resonated and I'm wishing you a fabulous week ahead or time ahead as you go along and all I hope all of you stay safe and you're not getting caught up with the coronavirus and all of these things and so I'm wishing all a lot of love and many many blessings blessings abound from Kismet Rising.